but you, you, you're enjoying your night. How are you guys getting on? You getting on all right, mate? I haven't seen you crack a smile yet. You all right? <laughs> now, there we go. We got it there, yeah? yeah? What's your name? Jerry. What do you do, Jerry? You work in a pub. Which one? The cr cr There you got some fans in. <laughs> they went there on Friday, mate. Were you working last Friday? Oh, they, they thought you meant the George on Breck Road. You get a lot of attention from the ladies, Jerry. It's, uh, you've got loads. You've got two ladies next to you. Then you've got these ladies going, ah, what? That's your girlfriend. You had to make that clear. Girlfriend. <laughs> Friend. Girlfriend. Friend. I'm not gay. Good girlfriend. It's good. <laughs> How'd you meet the missus, Jerry? Yeah? You tell the story, girlfriend. You were best mates with her sister, right? I'm trying to get that, yeah. I'm trying to work it out. Were you trying to shag her sister and then... And then she was like, but here's my sister. And you're like, boy. Uh, that, was, that was me doing the cartoon eyes coming out. That was an attempt at that. So never mind. So good, Jerry. So you met each other. How long have you been together? Four months. Nice. Four months. What did you do, uh, Jerry's girlfriend? All right. I w when you said I've got three jobs there, I'm glad you tacked it on. Because when you went, it depends. I was like, oh, kinky. <laughs> So what, what what sort of jobs have you got? All uh, oh, right, okay. Which kitchen? <laughs> All right. What what kids parties? Kids parties. The kids party center. Is that you 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 rolled your eyes at me like fucking kids. I hate kids. <laughs> do you hate kids? No, no. Do you do you like kids, Jerry? You you like kids they're just a nightmare. It's contradictory that I fucking hate kids. When you're trying to paint their faces, yeah. What well, do you like? Tell them you're gonna do it, or do you just fucking? <laughs> we said, "Don't you to be a tiger, dickhead!" <laughs> Get out of there! Stay there. You gotta pin them down. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, so, do you ever do like different kind of party, like adult parties, where like they have like for the kids? Like, has anyone seen like gender reveal parties nowadays? Yeah, yeah they're fucking insane, aren't they? I got dragged to one the other week. What a bunch of shit that is. <laughs> I ain't heard of it. I had to watch one on the internet. I was like, what the fuck is this? A gender reveal party? We went to one, right? If you haven't heard of it, what it is is like a couple that's got a bit too much money, right? And is having a kid, right? <laughs> what they'll do is they'll speak to a lady on Facebook and she'll liaise with the hospital, right? And then she'll buy like a cake and she'll fill it with like pink or blue filling. And then the couple will invite all their friends and family around and they'll cut the cake and then they'll find out what the baby's gonna be, right? So we went around and this like MC lady came out and she was like, who's ready to find out the sex of the baby? And everyone was like, Woohoo! <laughs> and I was stood there like, we need to calm down. They're having a kid, they're not launching a fucking album. Just chill out, it's easy, just didn't pull out, right? It's not hard to do, right? And then they just did that, and they cut the cake, and it was, it was pink or whatever, and everyone went insane, and then we went to the pub afterwards, right? And I had a little bit of a spliff, right? And I'm, <laughs> and I'm quite honest when I'm stoned, and they were like, hey, Phil, did you enjoy yourself? And I was like, nah. And they were like, <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> and I was like, I can. I didn't enjoy it. And they were like, why didn't you enjoy it? And I was like, because it was shit, wasn't it? And they were like, <laughs> what do you mean it was shit? And I was like, it was fucking rubbish, wasn't it? They were like, you can't say that. And I was like, okay, because it was rubbish. And they were like, what was rubbish about it? And we all got really high pitched. And I was like, I tell you what was rubbish about it, right? Because there was only like two options, wasn't there? It was like boy or girl. <laughs> What's exciting about that? There's got to be something like, there's got to be, to make something exciting, it got to be a negative option. And then, eh? You go to the circus, right? You go to the circus, you watch someone throwing knives at someone spinning on a cross, right? You're not going because you want to see someone good at throwing knives. You're going, because there's a chance someone's going to get hit in the face with a fucking knife, right? <laughs> you don't necessarily want it to happen. You just want it to be able to happen. <laughs> That's what makes it exciting. Could get hit in the face with a knife. This could be cool. So anyway... That's the thing. I was like, if you could like make there be like more options, like if you, instead of like find out if it's a boy or girl, if you could find out what a kid's gonna be like when they grow up, 
there's definitely an element of disappointment available there because we've all like disappointed our parents at some point, haven't we? I mean, like, you know, you're gonna be cutting the cake, you're gonna have a smackhead. You're having a smackhead. Oh dear. Oh no. You're having a smackhead. Oh, that's terrible news. Oh. Cheer yourself up, have some cake. Oh. There's a spoon, keep hold of that. You need it. Need an element of disappointment. You know, me and my missus have one. I'm like, why is it black, Karen? Why is it black? Why have we got a black? <laughs> I'd be all confused as well. Is it licorice? Is it, why is it black? Is it, what? Is it a different type of cake? Is it off? What is it? Why is it black? I don't know why it's black. LAUGHTER <laughs> <laughs> 